So, in my travels, I've apparently discovered a location that I must have entered and walked away from. This is the Ardent Temple. I have already explored a little bit through here. I've got a farming setup on currently. I'm uh, set up for scrap. Yes, over here, in this corner, on this very skeleton, in fact, I found the cleansing jewel increases self-healing effectiveness with all healing items by 25%. Dragon hearts remove all status effects. That ain't bad. So yeah, I haven't been through here at all. Which explains why, probably, there is a part on the map with a backtrack tile that I can't get to. Hi friends. Obviously I'm really over level for this area. Nope. Ow. that the uh that little bug thing is very very powerful it doesn't last very long but it's very very powerful Jeez, Pff, that made me jump. Give me all the scrap. I see you over there. Am I going back the way I came? No. Nope. Oh, hello. Just goes to show that even when you massively over level the zone that was the uh, shock effect of the rifle blowing up Which is rather nice. Yeah, I, I kind of feel like I'm going. You know, I'm going the right way, I think. Hey, friend. I think it's 
slightly harder to hit headshots with this rifle. Right, that's a way out. Let's just go over here and get that marked on our map. There we go. I'm not entirely sure. Why we didn't come in here before. I'll have to go back and watch my ROM footage and uh, see if there's an explanation given. Also, there's a load of stuff over there that we don't seem to have uncovered. And I know this because I can hear somebody. I do like how these uh, seek out enemies and they stay with them until they die. For example, they clearly found... Oh no, wait. Oh no, wait. A second glowing rod. That's two we've got now. Oh, hi, friends. Hmm, I wonder if there's a third somewhere. That was rough. It's good things all come in threes, as we know. And if there is, where do we use it? Them. It's them. Those. Right, this. I think that's the map. Yeah. That looks like the map complete. Although, I can see some bits and pieces that we haven't picked up. Forged iron. How do I get up there? Stairs here? Stairs here. Oh, and the loot box. Hmm. Graptastic. Yeah, I'm really, really intrigued uh, about these glowing rods. Look to be one part of a set. It's, it's definitely going to be three. wouldn't be two. Two is not a set. Three is a set. Two is a pair. So maybe there's another dungeon of sorts. And then a puzzle in which to... Oh! A fog gate. Hmm. 
Right, so oh, I wasn't going to use the green screen, so I haven't really got it set up. I'm looking very orange. Mind you, we've got sunshine coming through the window. Um, yeah, I'm not really set up for doing this, but whatever. We've got a boss to fight. Or an event to do. All of the faithful. Hello? Touch scene? Uh, panel. What have I done? I've opened a sarcophagi. Are you my mummy? Uh, nobody in that one. He's got a radiation staff. Ow. Yeah, it. Whoa, it's over. Nice. New item, black tear. Yeah, that was very easy because we are... Oh, apparently we're only on on level for this. Interesting. Yeah, that that was easy because generally speaking, we are massively powerful for Rom. Interestingly enough, I only really came back here to to see if I could figure out how to open the uh, the shortcut up, and I'm assuming it's through this. Yeah, there we go. And I'm also assuming there's going to be a third way off so that we can find that third rod. Unless the rod is out in one of the kind of village areas. Either way, I'm not re-rolling... Oh. I'm not re-rolling the world until I've done it. Plus, I've got to beat the final boss anyway. I have not done so yet. I've spent an hour on him, and he's an asshole. And I don't think it's a particularly great fight as a solo player. There's a few of those. Dorfist was one. The Warden was another. a door that we can open here. Yeah, see, we've seen this multiple times and I couldn't figure out how to get back to it. Uh... A puzzle. Oh, 
Oh, hold on. Um, didn't we have... I don't know if you guys can see this. Yes, you can. Uh, I'd like to view the screenshot, please. Hold on. Let's... Uh... Do, 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 do. Okay. Got that open on the old second monitor. Uh, there we go. Right, so I'm assuming this is going to give us directions. So, I'm actually going to have to write this down. Uh, so. Got the loopy thing that looks like a question mark. We've got the backwards R. Got the loopy thing that looks like a question mark. Got the backwards R. We've got the backwards scythe thing. And again. We've got the weird lightning bolt thing. Another couple of squiggles. And the lightning bolt thing. So that equals west south west south east east north east east north so west south west south east East, north, east, east, north. Get your ching ching. Oh. I was expecting that to raise a dais, but no, it's allowed us down into a new area. Oh, and this is behind the door. Le new armors. Void armor. Set bonus. Vengeance. Taking damage. Increases damage dealt for 13 seconds. Stacking up to three times. That's quite nice. Especially for me. Oh, we're crafting it. It's making... The armor. So I need more luminites. Okay. That's cool though. That's very cool indeed. Right. In that case, I guess. In fact, I guess I'm going to... Uh, If you were wondering where you need to go to get the solution to that puzzle, and it might be different for everybody, it's just round here, if I remember correctly. It's on the other side of the wall here. We found it ages ago. There. So assuming this 
uh, this monolith or whatever it is spawns in your game. And it might spawn in everybody's game. It's a backtrack tile, so I imagine it does. Um, but yeah, assuming this spawns in your game, that's what you need to do. Equate the different symbols on there with cardinal directions. Use your code. Off it. Off it with some new armor. Which we can't see all of yet, so I'm not going to uh, stick it on. Um, I guess. While I'm here and recording. Let's see what's down here. This wasn't supposed to be an episode. This was me farming. Um, I just wanted to play some more. Oh. Right, what's this area? Now entering Vault of the Herald. If it's just me, or the enemies in here might be slightly uh, tougher. Could just be me being rubbish. That'd be a first. <laughs> Keeping my eyes open for any control rod thingamajigs. As I said, if we can find one of those, that would be most good. And the red beam is usually quite noticeable as well. That's a green beam. That was adrenaline, yeah. Hi, friends. What, is that? what indeed? Bzzzt. Oh, clever girl. Oh, that's an elite. Have some shock damage. I have no idea. I can't remember what the shock damage does. It, it's weird. Oh, there's another one. The um it's over. The shock effect is a weird one. All the way through Yasha, I expected to be inflicted with shock. But And actually with radiation here. There was somebody on the Steam forums asking yesterday, what do the status effects do? And I realised that I know what corrosion does, because that was quite prevalent in courses. And I know in theory what radiation does. It does something with your stamina. But I don't know exactly what, um, because I've never actually taken enough radiation damage to, to get the status. And the same goes for shock. In fact, I've not been... I've not even seen the shock indicator on me. 
Now, it's possible that in hard difficulty, that will change. It's also possible that there are different enemy types that I simply haven't seen yet. Something sounds lovely. I can see a purple up there. Oh no, don't shoot his head, you dumbass. Ow. Ah! So I might be bad to see what radiation damage does. Not from you though. That was, rough. was a little bit actually. 108 scrap though. Oh, it's a blue. It's not a purple. For the term of knowledge. Oh. Those sa Aha! That looks like the uh the final control rod. I'm being chased. Not entirely sure how I avoided that. <laughs> a lot of noise these enemies there we are come on give me oh hi I think you can shoot shoot the um the shock ball that you put on them yeah that's a control rod how do we get to you ah through this door that's three glowing rods now i just need to figure out where they go it's possible that it's even at the end of this dungeon because this is probably the third that we'd find of the three places. Ah. Oh. I like it when the skulls dodge out the way. Nope. Yeah, this um this swarm ability is really powerful. One of the things that um I really liked about Vaporum the dungeon crawler. It was the first game that I played with um, the, the kind of gadget tech system that I really quite liked because everything was on a shortish cooldown. You could use it quite often. It was fun. And the mods in this remind me a little of that. And that is a good thing because I really enjoyed Vaporum. 
but I also really enjoy decent powers if you spec for them, but on a not super ridiculous cooldown, which they often tend to be. So if I can get this character specced for, you know, mod charge. And put mod charge abilities on. I think that will be very good indeed. Very, very fun. Also possibly quite broken. Which is another kind of fun. Really? It's, it's, sometimes you don't seem to take falling damage. I wonder if it's only when you're in combat. Ah! I'm going to use this checkpoint. So this is where the control rods go. Also, two... Treasure chest over here. Um, I'm going to pick off these enemies. That, okay. A glowing rod. Kari leggings, new armor. Oh, so you don't need to use them all at once. Ah. A Kari garb. Now, if I was designing this game, I'd probably have a boss spawn at the uh, after the third one. Eslan already had power. Why did he need more? Why would Eslan invite the Gwari only to destroy them? Where is the Guardian? Right, what? Akari, opportunist. Perfect dodging enemy attacks increases melee damage and crit chance. For 10 seconds. That's 50% melee damage and crit chance if you're wearing all three. So this is a real kind of up close and personal. Set. Yeah, so a real kind of swarthy desert vibe. With that. Um, what was the other one that we picked up? Oh yeah, the void armor. We haven't got all the pieces for this though, have we? Uh, is that mid-rolling? That looks mid rolly Yeah. Hmm. Probably time that I started upgrading some of my other armor sets. Either way, that's what you get with all three control rods. And you don't need... You don't need to have them all at once. You can get through here and open them. So it's head, body and legs from left to right. That's rather cool. Uh, let's leave the dungeon. How many um, what-sits did we need? Was it seven to forge the the final piece of the void set? Because we've only got four.
In terms of spectacle, Rom has obviously the dust and the, the kind of nuked wasteland feel, but it's also got the really cool sun eclipse in the sky. Um, Corsus doesn't have any of that. The, there's nothing that strikes me as, as kind of massively visual in Corsus. Um, Yesha as a zone design is lush, verdant, lots of particle effects, lots of uh, crystals and spores. It is overall a very pretty zone. But again, there's nothing that really stands out and says, yeah, that's the highlight of the zone. Possibly because everything is so swathed in Need any stuff. 15 luminite crystals. Uh, how many did I need? Take care, then. How's it going? Uh, hmm. Till next time. Till next time. Let's just head back and get this full void set just so I can see what it looks like. Because actually, 37 minutes is, is a good episode length. Considering I wasn't planning on actually recording an episode, um, that's that's good going. I'd only put the camera, uh, the the recording on just in case I found anything interesting. Right, hopefully we've got enough. Yeah, we needed seven. Void carapace. Nice. Right, let's try the full set on. It's heavy. Very heavy. It's heavy with only two pieces on. Oh, it's got good stats though. Lots of bleed resistance, fire resistance, rot resistance and radiation resistance. Terrible against corrosion though because it's heavy armor. And I'm assuming it's metallic, so it's not great against shock. Taking enemy damage increases damage dealt for 13 seconds. Stacking up to three times. That could be 39% extra damage. So, to, oh, that's a really cool looking armor set. Oh, but it's heavy. It absolutely wrecks our stamina. Come on, friends. <laughs> Still got to be careful with that. It's 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 not super duper tanky. Um, oh, it, obviously melee is not really the the designated play style for this game, anyway. But that that armor looks really cool. You look like one of the the undying with the the wrapped arms and the bone. Um, I really like that. It's, it's kind of a pity there aren't um, transmog items. Perfect dodging. The best thing about there not being any death penalty is that you could just try things out. Right, let's see what it counts as perfect dodging. Not that. Oh, that's quite a chunky bonus.
Ow. Shot in the back. These things are annoying. I quite like that set bonus. What else did it give? Melee damage and crit chance. You could tell. You could tell the melee damage there. Also, it's quite it's very, very cool how the cloth doesn't clip through you. That was rough. So we've got multiple armor sets. I still don't have the rest of this twisted set though. I don't know where to get the other pieces of that. I'm assuming either we can't get it on this playthrough because I haven't unlocked the necessary dungeon or whatever. Or I have and I'm blind and I've missed it. I don't know. We may have had to choose different options. We may have needed different bosses, but I'm fairly certain it's from the the zone at the start and i'm quite interested in it because i think it's going to give us a cool like wooden look um not that the health regen is going to be of any real use anyway that's going to do it for this uh impromptu episode of remnant from the ashes i don't even know where i'm going to put this in the series um because i've got over an hour worth of footage of me having a go at the final boss and failing um i think i'm going to go and do a a little bit more farming but i think now that is this whole map uncovered it was just that one section that wasn't clear so far so i think i can finally move on to the yasha or something like that and do the rest of my farming there thank you all for watching and uh catch you on the next one Toodle pip Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click the like button and subscribe. Remember to ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live. And until next time, toodle pip.